te hui tanguru i tēnei tau i rongo wai a o tautahi whānui i te pukuriri oru au moko. Ko tahirau waru te kaumā tahi ngā tāngata i mate. Hioi, kei te rongo tonu rātau i te mamai i tēnei wā. Nō reira i hoki atu rā a kāman parahi ki reira ki o tautahi. Ki te tsitiro kei te pēhea ngā whānau o reira, kei te pēhea hoki a rātau whakarite mo te krihimete. Kia ora tamariki mā. Kia ora. So tell me, what are your Christmas wishes? Kia ora. Um, I wish that there is no aftershocks or earthquakes while Christmas. I wish I could get a laptop and there'd be no earthquakes. My Christmas wish would be no earthquakes, no earthquakes, no earthquakes. We start at Richmond Primary to hear their Christmas wishes. We really need to increase the role. I mean, most schools on the east side would say that as well. Despite the buildings being safe, one in four students have left the school. We've hit rock bottom. It can't get worse than an earthquake. Um, so we can only move up from here. Every good school can create learning opportunities anywhere, even from a disaster. Throughout the earthquake it brought a great opportunity for the children to learn, to, to learn about the earth so that they weren't scared. This happens naturally anyway. Um, there's nothing to be afraid of. People move, the earth moves. The school has received an unexpected gift from the disaster. It strengthened our bonds with the children and I feel now that actually we're a stronger school because of it. Now, the children that could leave have left and the parents have left. Um, but the children who remain behind, and I always say this to new parents, you know, they're the strong ones, we're the brave ones, and um, they've built their resilience. I think there's going to be a lot more pain to come. Dr Simon Lambert from Lincoln University is studying resilience, how Māori networks respond and recover from urban disaster. It's all going through a... This dislocation, this grieving, there's going to be anger, there's inquiries going on at the moment, so we now have faces and names and seen some of the decision-making processes that have gone on. Uh, we're not through this yet. Dr Lambert's initial research has found when the earthquakes hit, community systems collapsed and survivors could only rely on whānau and neighbours for support, while emergency services dealt with crisis situations elsewhere. He says one solution is to set up marae to kick into action the instant a disaster hits. Marae are natural civil defence facilities. The people in the buildings themselves easily able to host large numbers of people at the drop of a hat. OK, but they keep doing it for aroha. That's fine, but aroha can only go so far. In the end, we need to actually resources, money, and capital and a lot of training. Mahoe Whamarai in Aranui was criticised for not opening immediately after the earthquake, but Chairman Pete Mason says they had no water and staff had to attend to personal emergencies first. But once it did open, the marae turned into a recovery centre and, controversially, the marae also has a significant contract to hold the district court here. Good night, I was saying aroki and that's what we're doing. And because they're a, a, a government agency, we, they still need aroha. And the people they, that who come in here, they need aroha too. They want a better place to get it in here. The marae has a large Christmas stocking to fill. They've received one and a half million dollars to start building 20 housing New Zealand homes behind the marae. This place is for people of the four winds. I said we want a multicultural domination at the back, not just Māori, uh, but all sorts. <laughs> In Aranui, their annual Christmas event was held in spite of their struggles. Everyone we spoke to just wants to say Christmas and not to be forgotten by the rest of New Zealand because they still need help here. Oh man, I really like the, this event, eh? it brings the whole community together. I think that's what it's been about this year after the earthquakes, being together. Life carries on in Christchurch. Residents continue to do the small but important things to them spending time together on the polluted but strangely comforting Avon River. Christmas decorations line the streets and ornament retail centres, desperately trying to lure in shoppers. But if we ever needed to be reminded about getting life's priorities right, 
Oh, I want to have a beautiful Christmas down here. Oh, I don't want no more quakes down here. Reflecting on what happened to Christchurch this Christmas may just be what we need to remember what truly is important. I hope you have a good Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you very much.